question. Imagining what the people who are protesting tonight might say, they'd say, look, this jury had nine whites on it and three blacks. They'd say, you have a reputation, right or wrong, of being pro-police. What do you say to somebody who might be out there who thinks it wasn't justice? How do you boil it down? Why is this justice this out there? You know, it's hard to boil down everything. As I said, it, it has to be based upon all the information that's available. You could certainly take out a witness here, a witness there, um, and, and come to a different conclusion. But I think everyone has to look. They'll have the ability to look at every bit of evidence and information that was put on and all the testimony uh, and can do that. And some I understand. I understand some people have made up their minds both ways and are not going to change. And so there isn't a whole lot I can do. What I would urge them to do is express those feelings, express them in a constructive way, and try to make some changes so that nothing like this ever happens again. Yes, ma'am. You just explained that we need to work on issues so that this kind of thing won't ever happen again. Can you explain what are some of those fixes that need to happen, and are any of them including whether or not police should shoot somebody whose hands are maybe at their stomach, maybe at their sides, or maybe up in the air, and they are unarmed? Well, you know, it's, it's difficult to answer. In fact, it's impossible to answer questions like that because there are so many variables that, that play into every case, and so there's just no real way to answer a question like that. Um, and so you have to look at every every bit of information and in every case that comes in. The idea, I hope, is to avoid ever being in that situation. 